So now that we've set looks, let's take a look at some other things that we might need for deliverables. In this case, this film was shot with a 235 aspect ratio, but within a 16 by 9 frame. So I'm going to come up to the color menu and down to output blanking so that we could add a 235 mask that we could burn into our footage. Now that 235 mask is actually a part of something called output sizing. So if we come down to our row of buttons down here, we'll get to the sizing tab. Now basically we've got two different sets of controls. We've got input sizing and output sizing. Input sizing would be something that would be a shot by shot thing. For example, being able to resize individual shots, be able to pan, zoom, or tilt them. Output sizing is something that would apply to the entire timeline. And in this particular case, we're affecting something called blanking. Now that preset was simply just an, over, an overall preset, but we can also, let's say, manually change those top and bottom lines as well. But I'm going to go back and re-choose the 235 mask because that's what we'll want. Now the next thing is we're going to start looking at creating data burn-ins. Now on this page, we can add data burn-ins for the project that would give us information about every shot in our timeline. So for example, let's say for editorial, we needed to add a source time code as a burn-in, and I'm going to go ahead and pan that over to the side. And I'm actually going to bring it up a bit just so that you can see that there is a little background box behind it because we're going to talk about that in a moment. Let's say something else that we want to add in is uh, the source clip name so that we have a reference to that as well. And I'm going to pan that over, maybe move that up a little bit as well and maybe also add some custom text like for example and I'm going to click into this box over here that it's property of and apparently I can't type very well but you'll get what I'm going for so now we've got some various things that we might want to incorporate but you'll notice we also have control over things because right now that is really big and bold and just in my way so one of the things we can do is lower the opacity of that background we could maybe change the color so it's not so in our face maybe like a dark gray or something like that so now we've added a mask we've added time code clip information as well as the property of and if we want we could also have this either last for the entire duration of this shot and of course every shot in the timeline but we can also have it act as what's referred to as a flash burn 